Welcome to Quick Learning. Uh, in this exciting video, we will learn how to create a purchase requisition using ME51 in command. This is a very important part of our SCP learnings for which I will try to explain how to create a purchase requisition. What are the, all the complete steps that we need? Then I will create a purchase requisition with you uh, mentioning all the required steps. So first of all, we will write here ME51N that is the transaction code for purchase requisition creation. I will press enter and you can see this window will appear in front of you that requires all the details to create a purchase requisition. I will start from a one by one. Uh, for example, the main on the top, it is the header. It is for the text, like what text I want to write for this purchase requisition so that when an approver approves it, he can view this text and he will get to know what are the requirements for this purchase requisition. For example, I write this is purchase requisition for RM for example raw material so this I have write, written the text here then the main portion I can you know uh, uh, you know collapse this one as well so uh, we will expand it again if it, it's required so that we can view the complete window of uh, this purchase acquisition so there is uh, I don't know why it's there it is why there is the delay so no problem so I will explain I will start explaining it uh, meanwhile uh, the SAP will uh, you know get its space again here uh, there are some most important thing this is the item item number it will get it automatically once I enter the material uh, number material SAP number and its short text will appear automatically as all these texts are automatically assigned to each uh, material code. So next is the quantity here. I will enter the quantity and uh, the units will appear automatically. So for example, it has, you know, uh, appeared. Thanks God for that. Try to and this one account assignment category. So here, so what I will do I will write some data and then and I'll explain it to you what uh, we are going to write here. In SCP, for each material code, there is some backend data that uh, that is already assigned uh, to that material code and the requisition page already automatically gets that data from SCP. For example, I will enter and write this material code here. This is for some raw material. I will press enter first with this enter it will get the deta details automatically some of the details that are already you know mentioned in its backend master data so here you can see in the plant tab it has made it yellow which means that it wants me to enter the plant number here I have entered plant number that is 3003 I will press enter again so that it can move to the next step what it wants from me this is an easy way to create purchase acquisition so that the SAP will guide you automatically that what are the required details for this purchase acquisition number for example I write quantity as 500 this is Domino M200 label this is some raw material a random raw material I have picked so you to uh, get you guys you know uh, accomplish with the, the details so now it's asking me account assignment mandatory for material so for this material it is saying that the account assignment is mandatory so we, you can see the account assignment tab is here the second one so i have to write the account assignment category for this to make it easy i will press this one to get the guidance that what i have to enter in this account assignment category so I have pressed this one and it has shown me that these are the available options for this. It's 
टू फॉर ओरिजिनल एफ के प्रोजेक्ट नॉन वैल्यू सी एस डी ऑर्डर फॉर एफ एम टी एस प्रोडक्शन डिपॉजिट बैलेंस शीट कॉस्ट सेंटर इंडस्ट्रियल कस्टमर नेटवर्क फॉर सम प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट सेंटर एट एट द एक्सपेंस ऑफ जी आर एन एटसेट्रा सो सो हेयर वी हैव टू यू नो सेलेक्ट द रिक्वायर्ड कॉस्ट असाइनमेंट अकाउंट असाइनमेंट कैटेगरी फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ स्पेसिफिक मटीरियल आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस आर द कॉस्ट सेंटर एक्सपेंस एट जी आर एन ऑप्शन बिकॉज दिस इज अ मटीरियल दैट वेन एवर वी रिसीव इट वी क्रिएट ए जी आर एन ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक कॉस्ट सेंटर and that material is charged to that you know uh, that cost center so i will select r from here so when i will select r from here it will ask me for some further data that what is the uh, cost center and what is the gl you know for this one so what i will do i will select uh, the cost center that is required to me so here these all the cost centers are available so i will get the required one when whenever you will create a purchase requisition you will know what is the uh, you know required cost center that you have to enter so i will write select the general expense here because it's a specific raw material and uh, it is uh, you know uh, a general type of expense it is used by multiple departments so i will select the general expense cost center here i will double click on it and it will get the required data it has selected that gl gl account it is in general expense and then i will select the cost center from here uh, there is some already cost center available with me that is the production general i have selected it you know from uh, my just copy pasting it from my uh, another working but you can also enter some other cost center as per your requirement So I have entered both of both of these details here. I will press enter once again, and now it will show me what further detail is required from my side. <coughs> Sorry for that. Uh, so uh, SAP is, you know, a bit slow today. So sorry for that inconvenience. Now it is asking me the uh, PGR number. What is the PGR number purchase group? so for this material the purchase group is 800 because this is a simple raw material that that is coming in general expense so i will write 800 here so that it will uh, pick that data and uh, it will update me accordingly so i will write 800 here and i will press enter once again to <coughs> enter the next detail so you can see that i have started from a uh, material number only and then sap is guiding me automatically that what is the required next information that i have to enter and you can see that now th this the green error has turned to yellow yellow means it's just a warning and it is saying me can delivery date be met it is asking me to please review this delivery date as you can see this is giving me the delivery date of today that is not possible because i am creating a requisition today then it will uh, uh, go into the purchase order creation process and then the delivery will come after that so you know i will enter you can say i will enter 27th of march 2022 that will be fair square for me because it's an ample time i can get all the required deliveries uh, within uh, this time frame so now i have entered the uh, an another suitable delivery date as well so now you can see uh, there is only an, a, a simple warning I, 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 we can just ignore that so here in text on the below tab i can enter further details of this particular line item for example uh, you see i have entered a text in a header that header shows the all the information of that purchase requisition but you know in one purchase requisition there can be multiple uh, purchase there multiple line items so for each line item we have to enter text in the below tab here for that particular line item so i can write any text here for your you know for your uh, exercise i will write enter an other line item here 
so that you can learn i have i, I will press enter and it will ask me what is the required information that it will uh, you know need from me so from here it will ask me for the plant the one that i remember from our last you know uh, last line item it will ask for the plant then it will ask for the quantity then it will ask for the account assignment from account assignment i have to enter the cost center and the gr and the gl general ledger number then i have to enter the purchase group then it will ask me for the delivery date is it is okay and then i am okay to go i can you know just uh, save my purchase requisition from this button of the save above and my purchase requisition will be created so i hope this is a very useful video for you in which we have learned how to create a simple purchase requisition uh, using sap and you know uh, in the in in doing so we can move for the next step of purchase order creation once our purchase acquisition is created so i hope this video has been very useful to you uh, and i have tried to explain all the steps that are required to create a purchase requisition so until next time uh, i am taking off and for any questions for any queries you can you know just write in uh, the comment section you can see meanwhile i am create writing and doing another line item as well for your just understanding so that you can learn easily how to enter line items here so you can see i have entered the plant first of, after entering the material number i have entered the plant then its quantity then its account assignment are here then I have entered the GL um, um, account and the cost centers. Now it is asking me about the purchase group that I, I have entered as 800. Then I will press enter again and my this it will now ask for the delivery date. So it's, uh, I have tried to uh, increase the exercise level for you so that you can easily learn all the steps required to create a purchase acquisition. So I have entered the delivery date, the suitable delivery date and you know, <clears throat> I can just press save button. So thanks for doing this with me and I will press the save button here and you will see that a purchase requisition number will appear <clears throat> in the bottom. And you can see this number here after a while. Yeah, you can see this one. This purchase requisition has been created and now it's in approval of its hierarchy and in this way we have created a purchase acquisition hopefully this video will be very useful to you thank you for uh, listening to me for any question again you can write in comment section please like and share this video please subscribe to our channel until next time bye bye from my side